The last two guns I had to get gold was the Shiva and the Yame. The Shiva I had so much fun using. The two pop pop to the body is such a fun feature. <laughs> I had so much fun with this little gun and especially this attachment I have on it. This is the perfect attachment for the Shiva because you can even con you can even defend yourself at close range with this attachment and there's absolutely no recoil with this thing. It's not moving. It just pop pop put them down i love it it's so much fun using it i only hated the fact that i had to get headshots with it i couldn't go to free for all because like the gun is too slow for free for all and the domination i was definitely gonna have to just camp spots and i hated that so anyway when i was able to get done the 100 headshots and i was able to start just going for challenges this gun became a whole lot more fun as for the year mate i hated it i hated every second of this gun i'm so glad i got it done i'm mad that i saved this for last i, I thought it would be the best gun because you get it at 55 but this gun is so inconsistent two birds dead on just like that i barely missed i barely got that kill they almost didn't give it to me but anyway this drone is so weird it's it's like very inconsistent i knocked both of them down in two shots but like i have other gameplay clips where it's taking way more bursts than what i'm giving people right now i don't understand is it a two burst is it a three burst sometimes it even take four bursts i don't understand the range on this thing from mid range it's a two burst but from up close it's like a three burst i don't understand it it's so random and i hate this gun that made this gun a pain in the neck to use even to get headshots it wasn't a one burst until it wasn't even a two burst until i put high caliber on it but the HVK was the first gun I used. This was the only gun I used when I first picked up the game. The only gun. So I got extremely consistent with this gun. I recently just picked it up for the, for the day. I was, my aim was off with it. Like this gun shakes a lot. I was not used to this gun at all. I used this to be the only gun I played with since I didn't touch it since the game came out. I was completely off like I got the 100 headshots with this gun but I never did the challenges because I didn't care about the gold camo I played with the gun so much that I got the headshots I needed but I wasn't caring about unlocking gold for all assault rifles at the time so I just did not go for the challenges and so I got so consistent and so comfortable with this gun that like I could play with it in any circumstances this is me running around with it in free fall basically i love free fall i found out like how to dominate free fall all you got to do is learn the spawns and basically you can just control the whole game like i know that they're only going to spawn to my right behind this truck and i only know they're going to spawn to my left behind that behind that fountain right here so if i stay in that fountain you see how people just constantly keep spawning in and i haven't even moved out the area i love metro this map is so easy for free fall they spawn from behind the truck I'm just waiting for him to come from behind the truck. There he go. Like, that sp the spawn in, on this map is just so broken that you can capitalize easy. I never really move on this map. I'm just doing it for this gameplay. I never challenge this location right here. I definitely never fight in this area. But I'm just like, you know what? Let me just end the clip as best as I can. Let me just play with the gun until I die. I'm on too much of a streak to just end it here. Let me play with this gun until I die. I only got four bullets. I had to switch up. Too bad this dummy was running with a shotgun. What am I honestly supposed to do with the shotgun? I'm, I never really played with any shotguns on this game, so I get immediately gunned down. But next up, we got the Man of War, which is the first gun I got gold. I had the HVK. I had all the I had all the headshots done. All I needed to do was challenges, but I had the Man of War, which I actually went full through with everything. I got this gun done. I don't know why, but like I, I this gun is not bad, but until you get rapid fire it's not really that fun to play with it's so slow it packs a punch but like rapid fire just make this gun way better i actually prestiged all my guns i got gold so i don't have none of it i wish i would have threw a stun at him instead of trying to force it around that rock and the xr2 is way more consistent than the m8 i enjoy the weapon you just gotta have your aim right i'm not <clears throat> i'm not a crazy aimer like my accuracy isn't insane but i'm not slacking so i can kind of get the job done with this gun it's very good very good two bursts consistent i love it look at this one two one two knock them down very easy get him out my face and good thing i got a secondary as a pistol i i'm never ran pistol until after i got all my guns go never ran any secondaries 
So now that I'm actually running the pistol as a secondary, I can just pull it out and do this with it. The pistols in this game is amazing. I had no idea. I never used any of the sidearms, so I had no idea that they were this good. But this thing is working for me. This thing is working for me. The XR2 with this pistol combo, it's going to be fun for me to run it. I'm definitely going to have some fun running it. I don't know if I'm going to start playing more Search and Destroy or if I'm going to play more Free Fall. I grew up on Modern Warfare 2 running nothing but Search and Destroy. And knowing this game, I've ran nothing but Free for All mainly. So I don't know. I'm just going to have to see. And as for the KN44, this was the gun I got done right after the XR2 because... I wanted to I wanted to go back to a fully auto weapon. I was sick of just running with three round bursts, so I had to come back to a footy auto. And this drone was beautiful. I got this gun done so fast. All I had to do was run free for all. I was just knocking people's heads off. It was amazing to be honest. The XR2, I was kind of cheesing on free for all and on domination because on combine, all I had to do was camp a corner and everybody kept running into my headshots. Definitely when I got when I got high caliber, all I did was camp corners and wait till people walk into my headshots. But this on free for all, it's basically like a submachine gun in your hand. This is beautiful. Mid to long range is still very accurate and up close, it can hang with every submachine gun. Almost every submachine gun. The CUDA still outguns me right like right there. I don't know what's up with the CUDA. It's not fast, but it's it's like very average of a submachine gun that overpowers everything else. I don't know why the CUDA is so good. But anyway, the ICR. This ain't this ain't my HVK. The HVK is my gun. The ICR is basically like a replica of that, but it's weaker than me. I don't like the ICR because it doesn't really knock people out. I ain't feel safe shooting him up close, so I decided to put him down. Look at all the bullets I had to put into him up close till I finally hit his big head. But that boy got turned on. That was beautiful. I love running free for all, and this gun is so accurate. It just doesn't pack enough of a punch for me, so I really don't feel safe using it. It's a good gun, it just doesn't pack enough of a punch. Like, it takes too many shots to put these dummies down. I'm over here hitting them like four or five times when only it take them to hit me like a good three times to put me down. And right here, where was my bullets going? My red dot was directly on them. But since I got all my guns done, all my assault rifles done, because that's all I really cared about, now I'm going to try and do the specialist. I'm going to try to get the gold, cam, the gold camouflage for all the specialists, so I got to get everybody done. I started with her. This is my baby. I only love her for vision posts because this bow and arrow was terrible for me. Like, I'm so bad with the bow and arrow. I just had to camp the tube on Splash. Splash is my favorite map to run in free fall. It's so easy. It's so easy. This fits my playstyle so well, but I just hated the bow and arrow. I'm glad I got it done. This is one of the hardest things I had to do. Finally got the bow and arrow done, so now we can move on to something easier. This was the hardest thing. <laughs> I am so terrible with the aim of the bow and arrow. Like, I don't I don't know why. It seemed like a pretty easy thing, but look how much I'm missing. They give you a little bit of a grace because, like, you don't have to perfectly get the aim on them. But my accuracy is bad enough that I can't even, I can't, I can't hit shots. I can't hit shots. I was just so happy when I finally got this thing done. I got lucky with that shot. Uh, so I'm like, all right, this map, I hate this map. I ain't gonna lie. I never played Black Ops 2. I know people love Skyjack, but for me, it's just a camper's paradise, man. The spawn traps is too much for me on this dumb map. And got him out the sky. And I saw him pressure me, missed that shot. But good thing he got close enough that made that way easier. The gun, I mean, that's, that specialist was okay, but I hated it. But now I'm on the Mr. Gravity stomp right here. And this was a beautiful move. Dang, I love this specialist, man. I'm glad I'm on to him. Honestly, I feel like the crossbow was the hardest one, so now everything else is going to be easier, so I should be knocking it off now.